Good morning, guys. It's Monday morning. Shea Bear 1000 here. Monkey. Hello. Is over there behind the camera because we're set up down here. We just brought a few things and some peanuts. We're just going to hang out because I think uh, Steve Steve's coming. He had to run to the house. That's his set up there. He wanted to, uh, he had to run the house, so he wanted to come down today, so we thought we'd come down for a little bit. Now, as you can see behind me, see that big semi-trailer? We went fucking nuts. It is full of pallets. Alright, so we had them deliver it down here. Right, Mama? $10,000 worth. So we got to go through that. I think what we're going to do is just open the doors and let people go in and see what they want. No, actually I'm playing the no more gosh on you. That's clickbait. We didn't buy that. It just happened to be here. So anyway, we're going to keep, uh, we're going to start selling. It's a little bit after nine. We got down here a little late. We got down here at nine. Well, a little after, about five after nine. Um, but so we're going to sell the hell out of peanuts, hopefully, and we're just going to sell some stuff. We're just kind of monkey didn't have enough patience really to go out and do to pay for the gas really so she put everybody off on tomorrow and she's taking the day off right monk yep. yeah is it hot out monk yeah it's terribly hot out isn't I wish it i was at the beach well let's go what we'll, i know we'll tell steve look we gotta run up the house real quick we'll be right back watch our stuff and, we'll and let's to head to the beach there you go They'd be sitting here at 9 o'clock tonight. Where the fuck are they? <laughs> Alright, we'll be back with you. Tell them, Mama. Hi, y'all. Say, we'll be back with you. We'll be back. I can't see because the sun's in my eyes. You don't have to. I got you here. There you go. Okay, as you guys can see, I got my serious wheeling, dealing hat on. Hi, Mama. She is typing in an address. I got to go look at some... Uh, potential money-making items uh, I do know he's got a craftsman chainsaw for like 25 bucks he said has got all fun with him and he also said he's got some uh, some other uh, two-stroke parts I may be interested in because he has went past down here and have seen me set up so he knows I sell that kind of stuff so hopefully I can get a deal on some things to make more money with so We'll just have to see from there. Huh, Mama? Mama may, made fun of me because I told her I switched hats because I had my yuppie hat on. I said, I got to get serious. I got my wheeling, dealing hat on, huh? Yep. Wheeling, dealing, money-making hat. Off we go. Off we go. So we're going, and we're going to see what happens, and I'll let you know here in just a second what, what if anything, I bought to resell. This is not keeping items. This is selling items. So... You know, twenty-five dollars for that saw. If it's in good shape, it's um, worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. So I'll, you know, we're only twelve minutes away. Okay, so we're twelve minutes. All right, I got to text the guy. Let him know I'm on my way. I'll let you guys know what happens. Okay, guys, I'll show you what I got. It's going to be a little noisy. They're doing some road work over here, but I'll show you what I got. I got the chainsaw. I'll go over more of it in depth with you when we get to the house. Okay, so there's the saw. And I got the Ryobi weed eater with two edgers. Um, a reciprocating saw head, the uh, weed eater head, and the tiller attachment. I got this big ass blower here. And it is a Poland Pro, and this is a Craftsman saw. Let's see if I can show you any. Like I said, we'll go over more in depth when we get to the house. So there it is. He said he hasn't tried to start this, so he he said it, it ran when he put it away last year. So he knows nothing, you know, if it needs anything. You know, he's honest. Hell, that was 25 bucks. So he threw. So I was interested in all this other stuff. I got all this other stuff for 25. So I got all this for 50 bucks. This right here will um, 
pay for all this other stuff so um, I could actually take this weed eater down just the way it is he said it needs fuel lines but I could take it down just the way it is and sell it with all the attachments and get I know 30 bucks out of it because people just love these attachments I mean I've sold just the tiller heads before for $25 on their own and like I said it's got two edgers and this reciprocating saw here so it is a Ryobi so it's a name brand but and I got the tank to it over there it needs fuel lines and filter so uh, he gave me the new fuel lines so I got the new fuel lines uh, but the filter he said he couldn't find that's all right I've got extra filters he's got some other stuff he's going to dig out and if I'm interested in you know he's going to text me or call me in a couple days if I'm interested in he says you know I'll sell all this you know anything I got to sell I'll sell it to you for cheap because he knew when I called him I told him where I was I told him I was down I told him I was set up down there at the Chevron he says, oh, yeah, yeah. He says, you were the, you the one with the big cowboy hat. I said, yeah. He says, yeah, I see you down there all the time. So he knew exactly what I was going to do with this stuff. So he priced it right to me because he does the same thing. He buys and sells. So he said, I know, you know, you're not buying it to keep it. So, you know, we started at 80 but he likes to. But we both had a price in our head of 50 bucks for everything. He started 80 it got down to 60 and I said, right, you know what, I'll give you 50 for every fucking thing. Because I, I really wasn't interested in the blower, but I didn't know it was that big. So, I said, without the blower, you know. And uh, he says, uh, okay, just 60 bucks and I'll throw the blower in. I said, I'll tell you what, 50 bucks and I'll buy it all. And he says, all right, you got it. So, and now I gotta bust my ass to get this stuff running so I can sell it and make my money back on it. Uh, Cause this is all, this is all to make extra money. So it's not, I'm just buying toys because I want them. So, um, so this will help out a lot. Like I said, the saw will pay for everything else. So I'm looking at, I'll probably make about $75 on all this once I get it all put together and sold. Um, I'll probably make about $75 profit on it so that's what we're looking at here and uh, she's getting the the tags for the truck the sticker for the license plate you know and then I gotta go home and I gotta make supper and I gotta make uh, I gotta start another batch of peanuts for tomorrow and um, and then I'm gonna you know look at this stuff and you know uh, see what I got to do here get it all laid out so Wednesday I'm going to clean the garage out and get all the stuff I need to get out laid out and what's next on the list what I need and then it's money making time so alright guys I'll be back with you in a minute as soon as we get to the house um, so well you know what no there'll be more on this I'm going to go ahead unless something funky happens I'll put it in right now. Okay, so I guess I am gonna throw something in there. Because <laughs> I said back there, I was like, I'll end it here unless something exciting happens and I'll throw that in right now. And then I did my outro, but, so nothing really exciting happened. But I was just talking to a guy about his Harley. I don't know if I picked it up on camera, but it was parked right next to us. It's an old police bike. Yeah, yeah, an old police bike. That's why it had the vintage uh, badges on, on the, the Harley Davidson. Uh, symbols on, on the tank because the police bikes don't have them on there they take them off because they have to put their you know share badge or highway patrol badge or whatever on there so yeah it's still got the siren on it and everything but so she goes in and she had to get a whole new plate because she has had the truck for 10 years so yeah. she's had the truck for 10 years so every 10 years, you know, you got to get the whole new plate. So we're down here at the park. Uh, this is where there's an, they put a water tower up and everything there. Yeah, we're going to go walk around and show you what they've done down here at the lake. Why we're close to it because yeah. the DMV is right around the corner. Right. But this is where um, I 
had the drone up in the air. Yeah, we had the drone up here, and they were doing construction yeah. work at the time. So this is, it looks like it's completely open now. So we're going to go find yeah, out. Yeah, we're going to go find out. So I'm going to put the drone footage in right now. So, that's the drone footage. Now let's go see what all they've done. Okay. So this is where the market's going to be. Wow, that looks totally different. See, it's called the depot because there used to be railroad tracks here, which is now the bike trail. Yeah. They took the, um, the thing out. What? The depot out, the old one, and they moved it. No, the old depot's over here. No, there's the old depot right there. That's the old depot right there. Yeah. That's the old depot. It's the original. Um, yeah, so. Got little seats here. Yeah. This is where the farmer's market's going to be. Uh -huh. There's the lake, which they're going to have a floating stage for the music. The music will be on a floating stage. And here is a water tower. It's a simulated old fashioned style water tower. So that'll look good once it gets staged yeah. and starts changing colors. Yeah. So there's the water tower they put up. Um, wow. Yeah. Looks different. Yeah, I've, I've had my drone over. It was over there where I took my drone up. So, yeah. and uh, I think those are bathrooms over there. This is called Liberty Park, right? Um, Park. No, it's Liberty Park. Park's the other one. It's right? Liberty Park. This is Liberty Park. Yeah. yeah. And right over there, just beyond that round looking thing right there. Come on, focus. There we go. Right over there is where the dock used to be. So, this is all. And there's another park right down there. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, look at they got chase tables out here. Yeah. Where you can sit. Yeah, this is nice. And they got this play area for the kids. Yeah. And the walking area. So, Yes, it's, it's very nice, so uh, we're going to take a little walk around here, and then we'll get back with you. Okay, so this is what I guess we're surmising that it, they're calling it the floating stage. Really, it doesn't float, because you can see there that, uh, you know, it's on stilts, but still. But we're not think we don't know, with this being right here, if this is going to be the stage, I get, but this is only going to hold so many people sitting here, and then people's going to want to be standing here if they're going to listen to music. So I'm not sure if they're not done, but they wouldn't have, if they was going to put the stage here, they wouldn't. It doesn't make much they sense. They would have left a, you know, yeah. so I don't know. But that looks like where they moved the dock to, because you used to be able to boat. The dock used to be right here. Yeah, and you used to bring your boat right up to and it. And we could boat right, well, we did bring our boat up here one time. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because you, you put in over there. Yeah, yeah. Just before you get to that bridge on the right, you put in over there. Uh-huh. And um, this lake goes for a long way. Back oh. over there is where that bar is we found out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> she was like, leave it to you to find them. a bar. We, we, we see all these boats coming out, coming out of this little cove. And like, what's that sign? I don't know. Well, let's just go check it out. Well, we come back in there and it, just, just a little tiny cove. And there's hundred thousand dollar bass boats and right. fifty thousand dollar freaking pontoons, and we come up in our hundred dollar ginu. That's before we even had it painted. It was like thirty different colors. Yeah. And these guys were moving their bass boats. Come on in. They didn't care, no. <laughs> did they? Uh -uh. And she said, "Leave it to you to find a bar in the middle of nowhere." Yeah. <laughs> but it's beautiful back in there. But yeah, so the dock used to be here. So, and the gazebo used to be over there. Yeah. Right over in that area in that, that open must spot. Be restrooms over there, I would say. Yeah, there's restrooms there. And right over there beyond where them people are walking in that building, there's restrooms there. And I'm not sure what that building's gonna be. I like and then the park. That's, I like what they did to the park. Yeah, the park is awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. Nice. Yeah, awesome really? park. I don't want to film too much because I don't want to get the kids in there, but no. But uh yeah, so you know I'm wondering, look at this the way they got this set up. You maybe this is going to be well maybe this is going to be where you put your chairs yeah. yeah you know yeah maybe this is where you're going to put your chairs so i don't know maybe they're they are maybe they will have a floating band you know i don't know i'm not sure but that would be stupid to be this far away from the band yeah it doesn't make much sense because before they would just bring in right over here they would just bring in like a big trailer yeah. like a semi-trailer and they'd yeah. set the band up on it right so i'm not sure but whenever they have their first shindig down here we'll be here we'll be here and we'll we'll bring you to it huh yeah i don't think they have had one yet have they i don't if, think so i don't know if we missed one or not with everything going on i don't know we might have but we'll be down here to find out the next time we know there's something going on here just to check it out see how they're going to have the bands and stuff yeah. i like it but i don't like it <laughs> You know? Yeah, but well, it's nice though. They, it is they nice. They did a good job. Yeah. But what I like is a place for the kids because they didn't yeah. hardly have anything for the kids. No, they just had so. open open yard where you could just sit around and lay on the grass and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, no, they didn't. So, but it's nice. Let's see if they're done with it completely yet or whatever. We'll so. This way, we'll go up that way and see what's going on up through there. All right. Okay, so we're not sure what this thing is. I guess monkey's wanting to hit the button. I told you it was a shower. She didn't believe me. But why is there a shower? Maybe it's just to cool off. Yeah. You know, in the summertime, you can come over here and get under it because there's no drain. I told you. I told you it was probably some kind of... You said, no, it's a light. I'm like, that's not a light. So, I'm not sure what that's about, but it's shady right over here. And there's plenty of places, since we're right on the bike trail, there's plenty of places like this to where they park their bicycles, where you can park your bicycles. So, and the bike trail's over there where we just came off of. So, yeah, this... I don't know. Uh, yeah, we're exploring. We're not sure about the place yet, but when I find out all the details, I'll come back and do an in-depth video and throw some clips in of what it was before. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, well, and these are ba bathrooms here. So it's a sign of Liberty Park. It's a sign Liberty that looks Park. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, they got a water fountain in here. Yeah, water fountain. This is the bathroom. Yeah, I'm not going in them though. Okay, well, I'll go in ours, but I'm going to stop you guys here. Well, since no one's in here, I'll just give you a quick... It's just a bathroom, but it's very nice. It is a very nice bathroom. Baby changing station there. I heard her hollering. What'd you say? Oh. I hear her, but I do not. Oh, there she is. So, over there is kind of like a clamshell style 
arrangement over there it looks like for seating and maybe so maybe the stage is going to be there because i can't see them having a band clear over there no and remember they've got a they've got you know they have um october festival okay but october Fest okay yeah Cooter they have festival. okay what i'm saying is they have vendors come in maybe so, not no more they can't have a big shindig and no vendors that would be stupid well, it's I like thought, wiping before you shit. That I don't thought make sense. Maybe that's why they were building one of those buildings was so, for the food and stuff like that. But they're going to have vendors. Yeah. So they they might be in here. I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to get back with you guys on that. Yeah. All right. So time to go. It, the, it'll be interesting to see what it, you know when everybody's here for shing big or whatever you call them. Right. So, yeah, so that'll be fun. All right. Time for us to go to the store. Yep. We gotta go. I thought this was cute. <laughs> this is the entrance. Yeah. Let's go look at the sign and see what the sign says. This is the Twin Towers. Hmm? That's the Twin Towers. Oh. Oh, right over there. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go check that out. Let's go this way. Okay. It's got a monument for the Twin Towers, so I'll show that to you. That's interesting. There's the sign. So that's the entrance. And over here is a monument. So, let's go check this out, guys. So, I can't get real close, but I can zoom in for you. See, this is the Pentagon. September 11, 2001, we will never forget. Flight 93. Whoops, sorry, guys. Flight 93. And up here, I'll read it to you real quick. Dedicated to the courage, strength, and what's that? Indomitable American spirit. I, I know I mispronounced that, but here, I'll zoom in on it. American spirit of those who perished and those who preserved during during the events of September 11, 2001, Inverness remembers. Here. Hold that for you. I got a battery light blinking. So I just wanted to show that to you. It's very, very cool, very nice. This piece right here is a piece of the Twin Towers. Let me get that for you. Isn't that cool? That's a piece of the Twin Towers down here on the bottom. Oh my God. No, that's a piece of the Twin Towers. We got a great big piece in Cambridge. Wow. But yeah, that's a that's a piece of the Twin Towers there. Gotta to touch it. it. Has writing on it, but I don't know what it says. Huh. But anyway, that's a that's a piece of probably one of the steel girders. It's like two inches thick. So it's a piece of the. The Twin Towers. And it lights up at night. That'd be pretty. Yeah, they got the lights yeah. shining up on it. So, awesome. Yeah, very pretty. Yeah. That's nice. Really nice. So, so please, guys, don't forget September 11, 2001. Hard uh, to believe, Flight right? 93, yeah. Yeah. Alright, guys. Very cool. And if it don't, then we'll chat at you soon. And I'll say Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching, man. Thanks for joining me on my yard sale today. And thanks to everyone that, whoops, sorry. Thanks to everyone that joined the live stream. Appreciate it. So we'll see you all soon. Take care. Have a great week and a better weekend. Bye-bye, guys.